Um, I started racing go-karts when I was about nine, ten years old. I actually grew up racing with a lot of guys that are in the paddock today. So uh, I grew up in California and then started traveling nationally. Went to Back in the day, it was called Stars of Karting, did that stuff, and transitioned into cars to the standard Scoop Harbor school type of stuff like that, and eventually won the Team USA scholarship, and that was the biggest like turn of my career, actually. I was like just graduating high school, won a big karting championship that same year, and I won the Team USA scholarship, so I was like, okay, well, now I have a new path to go in, and went to Europe for a year, came back, and joined the Mazda Road to Indy, and I've been here for five seasons now, so working my way up through USF 2000, Pro Mazda, did two years in both, and this is my first year at Carlin and Indy Lights. You slowly get more horsepower and more downforce and you know the one thing that's consistent is you're still driving on the same tracks that you have been in, in USF 2000 and that's going to translate year after year being in, in a bigger car. Um, lines don't change too much. When you get more downforce and more power you maybe can get away with a few different things but you know this the Monster Road to Indy does a good job at of giving you a place to start in USF 2000 giving you a little bit more um, to work with in Pro Mazda than in Indy Lights, you know, now I have front and rear bar and a roll bar adjustment. So it just, it's a few more things to work on. And then obviously going into Verizon IndyCar series, you, you know, pit stops, that'll be the new challenge. And you have a lot of access to the IndyCar guys and friends with Joseph Newgarden and, and, you know, various other people. And, you know, Ed Carpenter is super open, the, the paddock's super open. You can talk to virtually anybody and get advice and prepare yourself for that, that next year. You know, I was racing Pro Mazda last year, but you know, throughout the entire year, you can walk across the way and talk to the Indy Lights guys, drivers, teams, team owners, and they can give you advice that's going to prepare you for your following year. You know, I feel like it's just one of those meant-to-be things, you know, one of those, you know, God-given talent. Everyone's got something that they're good at, and you just kind of ran with it. It wasn't something I planned on doing. It was like, when I was 10 years old, my dad was, you know, teaching me to ride dirt bikes and, you know, water skiing or snow skiing, and you, you Learn, you get a surfboard or a snowboard, you get a coach just to teach you how to be good enough to have fun. You know, that's how it started with go-karting and my coach was Joey Hand and he taught me pretty darn well. So it just kind of was a year after your thing. I still had fun doing it and as long as you're having fun at that age, it kind of just, you know, manifests into something much bigger. So um, it's been a year after year thing up and, you know, it's, it, was, it was never really planned until I won the Team USA Scholarship and that was maybe five years ago. That's where I really made that decision in my mind that I could make this a profession and a career. And at that time, the Mazda Road to Indy was there. It was an open door, you know, and it just walked through it and just put your foot through it. And then pretty soon you got another stride and another stride. And five years later, we're still doing the same thing. So, you know, it kind of built a really good network here in America. I love IndyCar. I love the series. love the Road to Indy, the, the staff, the people, you guys, you know. It's like we see each other every week and we're like one big traveling circus, you know, so it's the same people and, you know, I love it. I like meeting people and I like doing stuff like this, so I don't see myself going anywhere anytime soon.